Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Dutch Wonderland in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. This theme park has 34 attractions and shows, including three roller coasters, and it pays homage to that beautiful Pennsylvania Dutch culture. So we're gonna ride some rides, eat some food, and have a beautiful Dutch Wonderland kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Dutch Wonderland has been around since the 1960s and has a reputation for being one of the best amusement parks for families. And I love the entrance here because you have to go through a castle and it has a moat surrounding it. And then of course you've got Duke the Dragon over here and a monorail that circles the whole entire park. So it's going to be fun to go and explore and ride some fun rides. I have been traveling around visiting some amazing theme parks, amusement parks, and this is number 21. So I've been to 21 different theme parks and amusement parks all around the, the country. I've been in Florida, California, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and I'm just loving it. This has been amazing. I really do appreciate this castle though. I mean, it's not like, you know, a Cinderella castle or Sleeping Beauty, but it's got its own little charm to it. It's got a nice little moat there, so we're gonna have to cross the bridge to actually get into the park. And it's it's pretty. It's a, it's a Dutch Wonderland castle. Bon Bon's gonna be hanging out with me today. You're wearing a Universal Studios shirt to Dutch Wonderland. Look at you. And uh, yeah, we're gonna ride rides and just have fun and enjoy. Maybe get something to eat. I mean, there's a lot of great things to do around here, especially being in Lancaster. They even have a Cartoon Network hotel right next to Dutch Wonderland that maybe we'll check out at the end of the video. And uh, yeah, let's head on in. Look at how cool this is. A little drawbridge. We've got Duke up there. Here's the moat that surrounds it. And we're heading into the castle. <laughs> My mom is actually with us today, but she didn't want to come into Dutch Wonderland. She wanted to go out and shop over at the Tanger Outlets. So she dropped me and Bon Bon off, and I kind of feel like a kid again. <laughs> she dropped us off, and she's going to pick us up later. Tickets to get into the park are $64.99. That's when you pay at the gate, but you should always look online. You'll probably save a little bit of money, and we're ready to go. I just seen over there that this was awarded by the Golden Ticket Society for the best family park in 2019. You got a little sign right there, and I love it. I see a train already. I see a roller coaster. Oh, I can hear a roller coaster. Yeah, you can hear it? I can hear it. <laughs> The last time we were here, it was 2021. We were here last year, actually, and it was uh, just as the pandemic was ending. So uh, it's gonna be great to see the park open in its full capacity. Here is a look at the map, and you can see it's actually a pretty decent sized park. They have Exploration Island over there. You have a train, the monorail, a couple of roller coasters. Oh, and here is the Cartoon Network Hotel. That's like right outside the park. So I think we're gonna actually head down in this general direction. <laughs> Actually, before we actually embark into the park, I think we should do the Dragon's Lair, which was the ride we kind of seen from the outside of the park, where you see the gigantic uh, dragon animatronic Duke, and it's a lagoon-style boat ride, and it's really fun. It's good for, you know, kids, but I love it. It's actually one of my favorite rides here in the park. Here we go. We're going to get into our little boat. Oh, boy. <laughs> One of Duke's favorite things to do is play hide and seek with his friends. <laughs> Here we go. We're off. We got Bon Bon back there somewhere. I said, get your own boat. I like this. This is so peaceful. Can you find Iggy the iguana? He is green and likes to hide on the mountain. This is so much fun, actually. I love it. And they have like this medieval like music actually playing. We've got a turtle over there and an Arby's right there. It's actually a really, really peaceful ride. Like I'm just sitting back, relaxing, going for a nice little boat ride on a lagoon with the dragon. <laughs> Look at Bon Bon right here. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Keep your eye out for Ali the alligator. Or Tucker the tortoise. Okay. Oh, I think we're coming up on a closer look at Duke. 
There he is. I don't think he's moving. He usually moves. Let's see if we can catch him. Catch him in motion. Thanks for visiting the Dragon's Lair. We hope you have a Dutch wonderful day. I should have used that. A Dutch wonderful day. The Dragon's Lair is such a fun ride. Like, I, it makes me happy. I like little boat rides like that. And it's kind of like a dark ride because you go into a cave there and it's great to see Duke up there and just kind of sit back and relax. Now we have to move along. Here is one of the roller coasters that I was talking about. I think that's Merlin's Mayhem. And uh, that was a fun ride. We did it last year. We'll try to do all of them. Also, I want to go in that Wonder House. Oh, yeah. What was that? I don't know what uh, it was called. Yeah, it's kind of like the Houdini House at yeah, uh, Six Flags. Nice. That was so trippy and I loved it. And then maybe a train ride too. I do like myself a little train ride. <laughs> Another really cool thing they have here is Bubba Bear and the Badland Band Show. And it looks like they have a couple showings per day. So we're going to try to catch that 5 o'clock one. But this is a great animatronic show. And I love it. I, I'm really hoping we're going to be able to catch it. We're going to have to probably backtrack a little bit. But it's going to be well worth it. Since we started off with the Dragon's Lair, I think we might head on over to the Kingdom Coaster, which is a big, gigantic, purple wooden roller coaster. And I love wooden roller coasters. They scare me. They scare you too, Bon. But we're going we're gonna to go there next. Like I said in the beginning of the video, they pay homage to a lot of the beautiful Pennsylvania Dutch uh, culture and then also Amish and Mennonites and it's really awesome and they have tons of different little theater boxes all around where you can actually see some uh, little mini tiny shows. Look at this. They know their mom's work too. You have good girls too, David. Ah, yes, but just one I love this. son would make me happy. <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> you just don't like all the chippering and coxing all the time. Living the Kingdom Coaster is 55 feet tall and has a top speed of 40 miles per hour. That's actually pretty decent for a wooden roller coaster. And here it comes, the Kingdom Coaster. I like how it says Kingdom Coaster right in the front there. <laughs> Very fancy. And of course we gotta go front. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> oh boy. Oh, the big spiral. The Kingdom Coaster is such a small roller coaster, it but it's fun and it, it, so it and it throws you around a little bit. Like I said, for a wooden roller coaster 40 miles per hour, like you, you get tossed around a bit. Yeah. Bonnie's been asking me almost in every single theme park, can we ride the bumper cars? So I think today's the day. We're gonna do some bumper cars here at Dutch Wonderland. But it's like, can we do bumper cars? Why do you want to do bumper cars so bad? I don't know. We always like to duke it out on the bumper. Oh, you do? Oh, we're gonna duke it out, huh? Yep. <laughs> As we're making our way over to actually do the bumper cars, they have a gigantic pretzel opportunity, like a photo opportunity. I'm not too sure why, but I do love pretzels. What's this pretzel for? The pretzel is to eat. If you eat pretzels, you won't be hungry. Mm -hmm. That's 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 a life quote right there. If you eat pretzels, you won't be hungry. <laughs> I was just wondering why there was this gigantic pretzel, and that's why. Because if you eat them, you won't be hungry. Nope, you won't be hungry. <laughs> Enough of the pretzel business. Now it's time for the bumper cars. Now Bond's excited. Look at her. <laughs> These bumper cars don't joke around. They're coming in pretty hot. Look, look at this. All right, we gotta pick ourselves a bumper car. 
I'm gonna take the white one over here. <laughs> I see her. She's back there. Look at her, she's creeping up on me. Not today. <laughs> I like it. I got I turned around on her. Look at her, she's just driving around in circles. This isn't Mario Kart. <laughs> oh no. Here we go. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Oh no! We're drifting! We're drifting! Ah! <laughs> Ah! We're drifting! There you go! Bond's still over here. I'm coming for her now. I'm coming in hot. <laughs> it just ended. <laughs> That's so funny. I got stuck for a long period of time and I just saw- No, I saw you just driving around in a circle! <laughs> like you were doing laps! I was actually stuck stuck! And then I came after you. But I was coming, I was coming for it! I was trying! Now it's time to make our way over to Exploration Island and they have some gondolas over here. Nice little casual boat ride. Kind of want to do that. Not without Duke the Dragon, just kind of a nice little boat ride on its own. They also have a little like speedway. Look at this. Bonnie, you want to do the speedway or you want to do the gondolas? Do do the Bonnie car? wants to do the cars, so we're heading to the turnpike. The, the good old Dutch Wonderland turnpike. I remember coming here with my mom last year and she got stuck in this with her uh, ECV and there's a bunch of animatronic dinosaurs back there in the woods. We're actually going to drive by them but I think we'll have to stop in there and take a look at them because I like dinosaurs. These cars are no bumping Bon. No bumping. No bumping Bon. It no says it right there. Dump, that one has Duke's Lagoon as the Pennsylvania license plate. I think they all had different license yeah. plates. Oh yeah this one's car 15. Just random, car 15. <laughs> this one gets Duke's Lagoon, this one gets car 15. <laughs> Looks like here's your trusty steed for this, this evening. Oh, and I got that one. See you later, Mr. Toad. <laughs> Here we go. Stay in car. Oh, these ones are so smooth. Like you can control them really good. And it's very beautiful out here. We got a curve ahead. Oop, and it also smells like, smells like a farm. That's that beautiful Lancaster air right there. I love it. Ah, the smell of cow manure and gasoline. Dino crossing. There's Bonnie up there. We're going to try to catch up to her. Oh, well, the gondola boat ride looks really nice. Look at that. Very peaceful, relaxing. You see some of the dinosaurs. Is that blue? Looks like a velociraptor over there. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. It's the little things in life that make you happy. Like these little cars. I love it. Like... You know, you could drive all day long on an actual turnpike, but for some reason you hop on a, a fake one and you just instantly smile. <laughs> I just realized you can basically ride in a boat, ride in a car, and then also ride in a monorail, because there's a the monorail track all right there, right here, all together. Looks like we've got food at the next exit. That's good, because I'm starting to get a little hungry. Oh, there's a photo opportunity. Got a smile. <laughs> Don't let this moment pass you by. Check out your turnpike photo. There we go. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Excellent. Now, since we're still over in this area, let's go check out some of the prehistoric predators. Have Little dinosaur animatronics. I love animatronics. And like I said, they have an animatronic band here. Kind of like Chuck E. Cheese, but I like it a lot. Welcome to Jurassic Park.
<laughs> Triceratops, not our dino. Oh, he does move. Look at this guy. Oh, I remember this one. It was scary. Listen to that. Wait. I think they're motion like sensors. I remember this being terrifying. Bon, yeah, they're motion sensors. Come on, you gotta set it off. Maybe you have to walk away and then come back to it. Okay. We're approaching. <laughs> that is horrifying, isn't it? <laughs> See? <laughs> we got another big dino coming up on our scope. This one's a vegetarian, though. <laughs> Very good, Bon. Thank you. <laughs> I think the sensors broke on this one because they're just screaming over here. Look at this little ball right here. <laughs> oh, he's shaking a little bit. All jokes aside, this is amazing back here. Like, if I was a kid, I would love to come hang out here. I could probably spend hours in here as an adult. What are you doing? Are you like hypnotizing it? Yeah. Like, it's a. <laughs> the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, his eyes actually close. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, his poor little hand is broken though. His bone is protruding. Do you see that? Poor little guy. It's okay. Yes. It is actually very rainy in Pennsylvania. So these things are actually outside all year round. There's no coverage. I mean, you have a little tree coverage, but they're basically at the mercy of the Pennsylvania air. Thanks for exploring with us. Wait, that doesn't say thanks for exploring with us. I just added that on there. That's okay. Like we saw when we were doing the cars, next exit was the food. So I think we're gonna get something to eat. And since we saw that big gigantic pretzel, maybe a pretzel. They've got a nice little spot here called the Penley's Pub. Little pub area here. They've got, of course, the good old Yingling, some pretzels, everything you need. I've been having such a great time in this park today. Like there was no waits for any attractions. We basically just walk right on it and it's very quiet, very peaceful. Dutch Wonderland's a nice spot. Like I said, it's a, it's a great family park. Looks like they've got a whole bunch of different pretzels. They have a giant pretzel, a dessert pretzel, a pretzel melt, a smoked sausage, braised short rib melt, cheese board, and a whole bunch of different beer. Lots of good stuff. I think we're just gonna stick to the giant pretzel though, right? Yep. Just a giant pretzel, we're good. Yep. <laughs> And holy moly, take a look at this. Here is the pretzel. Isn't that huge? That's a gigantic pretzel. Like, we're, that's a giant pretzel, just like they said. And I love it. It's got lots of butter on it, salt. Comes with mustard and cheese. I'm all in. All right, Bonnie, wishbone it. Wait, wait, you gotta take it from this side. There we go. So, let's see who's gonna get the bigger side. It's hot. And the count of three pull. Ooh! I won. Aww. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> it's so hot. It is hot. It, I mean, at least it's a fresh pretzel, though. Mm -hmm. Look at this. We're going in. I'm cheesing it. Mmm. That's a good pretzel. Bonnie's going all in on that cheese. Look at that. Seriously, this is a really good pretzel. It's $13. It's bigger than any of the pretzels at Disney, I think. Like, uh, oh wait, you know what? The Pangu Pangu, Pangu Pangu pretzel that's over in uh, the Valley of Mora in Animal Kingdom. I think it's a little bit bigger than this, but I like it. What do you think? It's a really good pretzel. Yeah? Yeah. Do you like the cheese? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> As we were sitting here snacking down on a pretzel, 
realize that it's almost five o'clock and we got to get back to the bear show. The the bear little, show? Yeah, it's like it's like Dutch Wonderland's version of uh, uh, Country Bears. And then we're gonna ride Merlin's Mayhem. But first, this is important. This is important stuff to me. Oh no, and it actually looks like the Dutch Wonder House is closed today. But that's the house that I said is like Houdini's escape over at Six Flags Great Adventure. Looks like we're just in time for the show. And it's a sold out show, only high class stuff here. The Bubba Bear and the Bad Lamb Band Show. Woo wee! You ready? Are you excited? Yep. Get up close, Bonnie. Up close, yeah. There we go. This is the one. <laughs> oh? Howdy, folks! It's Howdy. sure good to see you. We're here to do our best to please you. We've songs to sing and tales to tell, and I got pots and pans as well, and snake oil for your rheumatids and. Bucky Barnum! Whoop. You're supposed to be doing the introducing. Gee, that's right. Er, now, what was I saying? Oh, yes. We've songs to sing and tales to tell, and no one does it half as well as Bubba and the Bad Water Band. Bucky, you just managed to save your hide. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a little bitty boy, just up off the floor. My grandma's. Hmm. Feathers for putting on head. <laughs> <laughs> My grandma taught me to play poker. Your, Your grandma was a gambler. Yep. Grandma, she struck more gold than a prospector. Oh, this tail's starting to smell fishy. Mm -hmm. uh, how come she didn't teach you how to win? <laughs> <laughs> I won once. I remember it well. It was July 9, 19. Oh. <laughs> Peter, for a professional riverboat. Well, life on the farm is kind of laid back Ain't nothing much a country boy like a hag Sunny to rise, early in the sack Thank God I'm a country boy No fiddle when the sun's coming up I got the kicks on the griddle Life ain't nothing but a funny, funny riddle Thank God I'm a country boy When the work's all done the Having a great time here today This here is gonna be a request show I like to have on the radio. Yeah, that's right, Homer. I've done received so many requests to play something special for someone special. That we decided that's to you. with this special show. We heap nice guys. <laughs> <laughs> Our first number is the Big Mama from Toots. Here we go. <laughs> Bubba Bear and the Badland Band was amazing. Do you love them? Yes, I, I, I couldn't stop. I couldn't look away. I was so captivated by them. And like I said, it kind of reminded me of the Country Bear Jamboree a little yeah, bit. Yep. A little mixed there with uh, Chuck E. Cheese Band, you know? And it's so much fun. And it's just automatic. Like, it just goes on. No one, uh, maybe if somebody hits a switch, but that is so awesome. Now, it's time for uh, Merlin's Mayhem. There it is, Merlin's Mayhem. This is the newest ride here. And I don't think we could film on here, so I'll use some stock footage. But look at that. Glide right through the air there. I actually love the queue for Merlin's Mayhem too. Look at these nice little lanterns. Oh, there's Merlin himself. Come on in, right through here. All right. Thank you. I'm glad I came too. We head right on in. Public notice, mayhem is missing. If he is seen, contact Merlin. All right, cameras have to go away, but it is time.
poster, kind of like in between like kid and like teen. Like honestly, that's like a really good first steel coaster for a lot of kids. Like it's not so bad, it's really quick. I think it's like less than a minute or maybe it's like a minute 30, but it's really smooth, not too bad at all. I like it. Like I said, it's a, it's a perfect family park. Yeah. I also like how they have these little storybook houses. Now tell me, does Mary get her shoe fly pies made enough? My Rebecca has the first time with hers. Bread she bakes like her mom and grandma. But the shoe fly pies don't make for her still. So spoodily. I would have loved to take a ride on the railroad, but it looks like the railroad is kind of closed at the moment. It's not running today, so it might be down for technical difficulties. But uh, yeah, so far I've had a great day at the park, and uh, now I think we're gonna start making our way out. As you make your way out, you actually get to go back through the castle, and uh, this is the gift shop. So we're actually gonna be able to kind of browse around a little bit, maybe grab Marcel uh, a Duke. Oh. What's your favorite character? They have Duke the Dragon, Princess Brooke, Sir Brandon, and the Knight Merlin. Look at that. There's all the characters there. I like Duke. Who's your favorite? Duke. You like Duke too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there's Duke right there. Should we get Mama Duke? Mama Duke. <laughs> Should we get Mama Duke? Let's get Mama Duke. Mama Duke. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of just like your regular gift shop here, but it's cool that there's a bunch of castle displays and everything in here. And uh, I think we're gonna be leaving with a, a duke for my mom. A little mama duke. <laughs> a little mama duke. <laughs> On my way out, I ran into my friend Kent and uh, he works here, he's security here, and he gave me some pins from some defunct rides here. Dutch Wonderland, they had a uh, space shuttle there. Oh, and then they had the uh, Skyline. This is still actually here. Here, Mom, we got your Mama Duke. Oh my God. It's Duke. It's Duke the Dragon. <laughs> you see him right here? Look, you see him there? That's Duke. Before we leave Dutch Wonderland, which is right here, I wanted to just hop over to show you guys the Cartoon Network Hotel. This is it right here. I mean, this looks really, really fancy. I love the Cartoon Network and it has a little bit of everything in there. They even have some dining experience, a Cartoon Network themed pool, and then it's kind of like a motile style layout there. But I'd love to come back and check this out, especially because it's right next to Dutch Wonderland. Say goodbye, Dutch Wonderland. Bye! We didn't even get to ride the monorail! Oh. Ah. And with that, I think we are done here today at Dutch Wonderland. It's time to go. Mom came to pick me and Bomb Bottom. Like I said, I feel so funny like it's a kid. I feel like a kid again. My mom's dropping me off and picking me up. And she had fun. The Tanger outlets are down here and the very popular outlets since she went shopping. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun at Dutch Wonderland. Uh, a lot of the things I wanted to do today though, they, the, the park, uh, they weren't open. So like the Dutch Wonderland house, that was so fun that wasn't open or the train. So we'll definitely have to come back, but this is a perfect park for kids and families to come and it's, it's a lot of fun. I just kind of like the nostalgic feeling of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you again next time. Bye. As we were actually leaving Lancaster, I came across a homemade root beer stand. And this is actually like right on the side of the roads here. And all you have to do, they kind of, it's on an honor system, but you put your money in the box right here. And then here is the different prices. For $1.75, you get a small, and then a large is $5.50. You get a refund for jars you return, and uh, no Sunday sales. And it's all inside here. So I think we're gonna try some uh, cold homemade root beer. Here it is, old fashioned root beer on the side of the road. I'm gonna crack it open and give it a sip. Nothing like some good old sarsaparilla. Well, this isn't sarsaparilla, but some good old root beer. It's good.